At Woodlawn High School, health officials are still in the process of finding out where the COVID-19 cases turned up and among how many students and if there are more. Athletics, of course, is a concern if we have groups of students coming together. And so right now it's going through our typical protocol just to see um, where we can do the contact tracing and notifying. We always work with our health officials. The superintendent says there were similar COVID-19 cases among county athletes back in the spring. Meanwhile, the head of school climate and safety says the district does have a plan on how to handle individual positive COVID-19 cases. So they will look at every individual case. They will identify students who have tested positive and they would go into isolation. Students who came into contact that we don't know would go into quarantine. Uh, so that's typically a 10 day period. And while students are away from campus, the school system says it has ways of making sure they don't miss out on instruction. For individual students, we work with individual schools to provide that continuity of learning. It will be a lot of the work is there on Schoology. A lot of the work will be through a virtual platform of some sort. Now there are more than 3,000 students in the district's new virtual learning program. More than 100 new students were added to the program this past week. Those additions to the virtual learning program were made over the weekend, due in part, we're told, to documentation and needs that, according to the superintendent, on a yet another topic, the school system says it is aware of some late and in some cases crowded school buses on the first day. They attribute that to a shortage of bus drivers. Live in Towson, Tim Tutin, WBAL-TV 11 News.